Hello students. In this video, we will discuss about the isometric projection of a square block or a cube and a combination of a different size. So normally, in the previous videos, we have discussed about uh, drawing an isometric projection of a hexagon, pentagon, triangle and uh, if you go through, I have listed here some uh, 7 to 8 problems and if you go through each problem here, so you can find the similarity, okay, there is a common factor in each of the problems. So, I have taken all these problems in a single video where we can understand easily like how to draw the bottom solid, the one which is placed on the ground. Just to have a, a clarity, I will just go on reading the problem. And we will find like what is the uh, similar thing which we are going to find in the bottom solid. That is a one solid. Okay. So, as we have told right uh, in the BTU syllabus, there will be only combination of two solids. That means like one of the, if you do one of the solid and convert that one to the scale, you will get 50% uh, of the marks. So, to take that one, so we have problem number 6 where we say, so very simple one, there is a first room of a square pyramid. So whenever we say a first room of a pyramid, we will be having two faces, we said, and one will be the bigger one and one will be the smaller one, which are different, uh, separated with some distance. So here they say the base is of 40, the top face is 20, and uh, they are separated with a distance of 60 millimeter. So already we are told, right? Whenever we get a custom, we need to take it from the center of the uh, solid. And uh, it is placed over a uh, uh, top of a square block. Okay. So you can see the word here, the square block. So you can just highlight that one with uh, some color. That we can easily find out. Okay, so if you go to the second problem, uh, there is a cone. It is placed over a center of a square block. Again, we can see again one more square block. That is the bottom solid is a square block. Okay, and there is a cone. Already we have seen a, a drawing the cone uh, in a dip, in other videos also. And when it comes to this problem, that's a uh, number fifteen where we say there is a hemisphere, we we'll come back to the hemisphere and there is a square prism, it is nothing but like a, a similar to the square block, okay, you can see there is a, a square block of 60 mm and height is 30 mm and if you go to the next one, they say there is a sphere, again we will come back to the sphere, but you can see there is a cube, okay, so we are highlighting only the bottom solid here. Okay, we'll come back to the combination later. Now here uh, we have a sphere of diameter centrally for a, a first sum of a cone of diameter 60 on the top of and bottom diameter. Okay, so any of this uh, we will not include because there is no square block in this one. And uh, if you take a problem number 33, there is a sphere which is placed over a square prism. You can see there is a a square prism which is at the bottom okay and if you come back to this one there is a cone which is placed over a cube again okay, cone again on a cube and if you come back to the 23 again so there is a prism of a, a cone okay which is placed over a, again a square block And the last we have 38, where again we have a cone which is placed over. This is a one typical one where we have a custom of a square pyramid. It is not a square block or a cube, but we will be having uh, a square custom of a square pyramid. Okay. So you can see here whichever the things we have violated with a, a black color or a red color. You can see 
the bottom solid will remain one or the same like uh, the the dimension may change but uh, the object the resemblance object will remain as it is as a, either a square block or a prism or a cube okay so the procedure in which we are going to draw all these solids will remain same okay so just to start with we will take a problem number uh, 6 uh, where we have the bottom solid is a square block of 60 and I say 20. So just I will try to take up that one here. We'll as usual in the isometric projection, as we told, uh, we'll take a line with a point 13. Anyway, I'm drawing out of the drawing area. Okay, just to show the uh, things here. Okay, and we'll keep here and uh, they, they have given it's a 60 mm side. So we'll go with the 60 enter the first angle 30, then 60 enter the second angle is 150, then 60 enter the third angle minus 150, then 60 enter so minus 30. Okay. Once it is done, we will go back to the thickness where we say it is a 20, then a 90. Okay. Then it is a simple one where we will move this uh, square block. Okay. Copy on from the corner. Okay. Be very careful when you are placing the uh, square block. We will go to the once again uh, this line and we will move to the each bar while moving the, to the corner also. You should be very careful to select the ends. Okay. So now we got it. So uh, as we have told, right, in order to just uh, avoid the confusion, we will delete the invisible line. Okay, so now to locate the center of this one, so we will just draw one horizontal. Okay, so this is the first solid. And in the second solid, so what exactly we are going to do here is, so we have first one of a square pyramid. So we have one more uh, square pyramid. Okay, the bottom face is of 40 and the top face is of 20. Now, as we have already discussed in hexagon and pentagon, wherever we have the n polygons with the equal size, okay, so we can use the scale command in order to enlarge, okay, or to reduce the size. So now here we have 16 square, okay, so we can go back to the scale command here by keeping copy on. We need a one square which is of 40. It is 40 divided by 60. The one which I want divided by the one which I have. Okay, so we'll select and for a timing we we'll keep it at the center itself. Okay, so now there is a one more reduction in the square. Okay, so you can just click again at the center and try to. Okay, now if you see here the length of this one is a 26.5. Okay, which is not required for us. So I will just delete that one. So now select this again a 40 square. Okay, again go back to the scale, copy on. I need one more 20 square divided by 40. One which I need divided by the one which I have. Enter and bring back that into the center and keep it here. Okay, now so we have 40 and we have a 20 square. But these things are separated with a distance of a 60. Okay, so whenever we have a first one. So we need to take a, a, a center line with a point 13 from the center, okay, it is a 60 basically, 60, then it's a 90, okay. So now the top face is of 20 millimeter, so we need to move this 20 square by keeping copy of from the center to the tip of this line, okay. So now this is what exactly is our first solid, just point right and change the color in there, okay. And one more solid is, uh, we need to join the corners of this one, we need to join these corners one to one, okay. This should be to the uh, 20 to the 60, not to 20 to the 40, many a times people will do the mistake like that. Next will be from corner to this corner, and from this corner to this corner. There you go. 
connecting the lines properly okay. continuous line and uh, this is what exactly is our second issue this is in the color so that the sound is better so now any of this line will not be visible this line will not be visible and uh, we will go to the trim and this part this part and that is visible to us here you know, now this diagonal not required so this center line will retain and this is how exactly the solid is going to look okay so now we will go to the angle between this line and this line in 30 and this this line and this line okay now if you convert to the scale okay so we are going to get the isometric projection of the problem number 1 it's so simple if you know the what do you call uh, the scale factor okay and the uh, idea in which like you can just reduce or enlarge to the, the scale so easily we can complete the problem so now this is done so we are not converted to scale keep in your mind because we need this uh, a few thing i am going to use copy in order to continue for the uh, next step problem okay so now we will take up problem number 70 so where we say there is a cone which is placed over the top of a square block 